Hi, everybody. Sonia Bedezi here from Success Fitness. Uh, thank you for Royal Roads uh, Recreation Center for sponsoring this class. Today, we're going to be doing a Tabata style cardio for half the class, and then the rest of the class will be all core oriented. All right. Are we ready for this? Yes, we are. Okay. All I want you to do is just opening up those hips. Let's alternate right, left. Good job. Come on, open it up. Nice deep breathing, right? So all we really want to do is mobilize those hips, right? So really get in there. Use your core muscles in the same time. Let's go. Give me eight more. Seven, good. Six, five, four, three, two, one more. Let's hold it right here. Give me a nice deep breath. Reaching it tall on the exhale. Bend those knees. And again, really trying to get those arms in there. Come on, down we go. And again, three. Down we go. And again, four. Come on, sweep those arms. Make it big. Five. Good. And again, six. You got this. Seven. Good. And again, eight. Last two. Nine. One more time. And 10, roll those shoulders out, nice big circles. Make it nice and big, come on, really get into those shoulders. Four, three, two, let's roll those shoulders forward, yeah? And again, roll them out, nice and big. Roll them forward, good job. And push, and push. Three, two, and one, good, shake it out, get those hands behind, opening up the chest. We're gonna get pretty much right into it. We're gonna start with right into the heart stuff, okay? So we're gonna start doing the burpee, and then we're gonna take a 10 second rest. Mountain climbers, take a 10 second rest. Into the plank, taking a 10 second rest. Everything for 20 seconds work, and then we're gonna do that four times through, and then we're gonna switch to your RS exercises up. Are you ready for that? Yeah? All right, so burpees are great too because it kind of get the whole body in, involved right off the bat. Okay, so burpees, ready? 20 seconds on, 10 second rest. I'm actually gonna put my timer on so I'm not gonna mess up because as you all know, I'm easily distracted. All right, all right, ready. Burpees, low impact, you're just stepping it back, higher impact, you're hopping it back, yeah? Ready, set, and go. Give me 20 seconds. Right? No push-up, just burpees without the push-up. Hopping in wide, 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. And time. Hold it down here. We're gonna go right into mountain climbers for 20 seconds. In five, four, three, two, and go. Good job. Come on. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Plank position down on your elbows. Feet go behind. Make sure those hips are nice and level with your shoulders. In four, three, two, and plank. Yeah? We got this, right? 20 second plank. Then we're going to go into our second round. Same thing, just gonna be a repeat. Keep going, you got 10 more seconds. Keep that belly button pulled in. Keep a nice straight line. Keep holding it for four, three, two, up we go. Burpees in 10 seconds. Again, for 20, for your second round. In four, three, two, and go. Woo, come on. Good work. 10 more seconds. And time. Good. Come right down. Mountain climbers. So the great thing with this workout is you do not need any resistance, right? So no weights required. Ready and go. How what's your core doing? It's nice and snug, right? 
Keep your form. Five, four, three, two, and time. Get ready for your plank on your elbows. Right, it's the end of your round two. In four, three, two, hold it. Hips down. Come on, people. Make sure your shoulders, hips, knees, and ankle, nice straight line. We don't want to be way up here. We don't want to be way down here. Right? Pull that belly button in. Keep going. Don't let it go in five more seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Up we go. Whew, shake it out. All right, back to your burpees in five seconds. Four, three, and go. This is your third round. Come on, push it. Ten more seconds. Four, three, two, mountain climbers, down we go. Getting tired yet? <laughs> I love Tabatas, right? Short and sweet. Ready, set, and go. Low impact, all you do, just slow it down a little bit. Worst case scenario, keep going, don't stop, is you put your elbows on a chair and go a little higher up, right? Four, three, two, and time. We're gonna drop to the elbows, back into that plank, 20 seconds, and we got one more round to go. You're ready for that, right? In four, three, two, hold it. Hold it, come on, nice and strong. Don't let this go. Awesome work. We so got this. Woo! Come on, 10 more seconds. Good work, keep going. In four, three, two, and time. One last round, yeah? Shake it out. In five, four, three, Two, let's go burpees. Woo, use your legs. So notice how hop back, narrow, hop in wide, use my legs, yeah? And again, and push. We got five more seconds. We should be much warmer now. And time, mountain climbers, down we go. Feet go back, back is flat in four, three, two, and go. Ten more seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Good. Back to your elbow plank. Drop it down. Legs go behind in five, four, three, two, and hold it. Good. Keep holding it. Nice and strong. Keep holding it. Don't let go. Should not feel your lower back. If you do, you drop to the knees. Yes? 10 more seconds. Keep going. Keep going. For five, four, three, two, and release. Good job. You better have some water with you, right? Somewhere around you. Let's have a sip. Not guzzling it. All right, your next segment, we're only gonna have two exercises, squats and push-ups. So you're gonna go between the two, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, yeah? We got this. So squats to start. When we're doing squats, making sure that we come right down into that 90 degree. If you can go lower, so long you have good healthy knees, no problem. But I usually don't suggest going any lower into that 90 for general population, okay? Unless you're training CrossFit, anything like that, um, you can definitely go lower. It's totally up to you. Ready, set, and go. So squatting it down and out. Now, if you want weights here, grab weights, yeah? So you can make this a little bit harder on yourself as well. 10 more seconds, keep your chest as much lifted as you can. 15 seconds. Pressing into the heels, good, and push, good, down we go, into your push-ups, ready, in four, three, two, and go, 20 seconds, good, 
Nice deep breathing, four more seconds. And time, ready? Back to push-ups. Just be gentle on your body when you go up and down like that. We don't want you getting all dizzy, right? All right, pressing into the heels, shoulders down and back. Ready and go. Squat into the heels and press. Good, exhale, push. Really trying to squeeze through the bum, yeah? You can even wear a backpack for extra weight. You can have a big heavy weight in front of you. Right, big book. One more, and time, push-ups. The second round, right? We've got two more to go, we're halfway there. Whew. And four, three, two, and go. Right, so try to go all the way down to the floor and up. If you're choosing to do this on your toes, that's totally fine. But just make sure you also have that range of motion. If you're on your toes and it looks like this, you're better off going on your knees and really practicing your form and technique on this one. And time. Good. Third set. Up we go. How are we feeling? You're doing great, right? Shoulders down and back. Feet about the hip width apart. Ready? And go. So I put my feet, my feet right about the width of my mat. Right, so I'm in a really good position. I also look at my toes, making sure that each foot is aligned to each other. Right, so I'm not pressing off one leg more than the other. Five more seconds. And time, down we go. Into your push-up. All right, knees go back into the chest. In four, three, two, let's go. Come on, breathe out. That exhale is really important because that keeps your core tight and it keeps your lower back supported. Come on, five more seconds. And time, good. Back to the squats. Last two, right? So one more squat, one more push up. Feet go a little wider than hip width. Shoulders down and back, ready and go. So don't let your knees go past your toes. It's okay if they're just over your toes but don't let them go any further than that. If that's the case, and if you can't really help it, where you're kind of going, I just don't understand. My heels keep lifting, my knees go past my toes. I can't do it any differently, my back is tight. There's different sorts of squats and time. Down we go, right? So there's different tools to uh, work on those mechanics. In four, three, two, and go. This is your last one. Come on, press through the chest. So this is another workout that you can do anywhere. No excuses. Come on. Good job. And press. And press. Good and done. Excellent work. We're going to move on. Jumping jacks and crunches. Just like what we did. Shake it out. So again, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Hopefully you have some energy left. We can do some core work today, right? All right, are you ready? Have some water again, right? So this is important. Sipping away. All right, jumping jack. 20 seconds on, 10 second rest, crunches on the ground. Okay, ready, set, and go. Jumping jacks, jumping jacks. You decide. Right, so this is your workout. But we do want to get that cardio going a little bit today, right, with these uh, Tabata type intervals. Keep going. <laughs> Big arms, come on, reach them up there. And time, down we go. And again, 20 seconds crunches, hands behind your ears, pelvic tucked in, belly button pulls right down, hands are supporting, and go. Crunching it up, crunching it up. We should not feel this in the lower back. Your pelvic should be tucked right in. Lower back should be pushed down, right? So we're nice and safe. 10 more seconds. And curl. And curl. And curl. And curl. And curl. Good. Up we go. Jumping jacks. It's like, wait a minute. Didn't you say we're going to be doing core? <laughs> That's right. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. 20 seconds. <sighs> Low impact, yeah? Find your level, come on. Push it, four, three, 
two, crunches. Down we go, this is the second round. Hands behind, pelvic tucked in. Push that belly button down. Ready and go. Lift from your shoulders. Use those upper abdominals to pull yourself up. Your lower abdominals should be tight the whole time. Don't let them go. Five more seconds. And time. Good. Up we go. Round number three. Woo. Yeah. All right. Jumping jacks in four, three, two, and go. Ten more seconds, people. Come on. And time. Last set. No, lying. <laughs> we're still in the third round. Quenching it. Then we're going to do one more set. Ready, set, and go. Oof. Right? And anytime you want to just go, just go. Right? If you feel you don't need that full rest, but just be careful, right? Because we do want that full energy um, for the whole workout through and not just for segments of it. Five more seconds. Oh, come on. And time. Last time. Whew. See, 20 seconds is not that bad. It's actually kind of fun. So if you want to make this workout harder, ready, set, and go. You can, instead of doing four sets, you can do six sets, eight sets. Yeah? So every time we do these, you can put me on pause for a couple more sets and then move on to your next round. Right? So the, all, all of these workouts are meant to be um, able to be expanded. Down we go. Right? So not only to make it easier, but also to make it harder. In four, three, two, and go. Good. And again. And again. And again. Good job. Ten more seconds. Come on, you got this. The last one. Let's go. Four, three, two, and time. How are we doing? We're doing great, right? Okay, your last one of your segments of these, and then we're gonna move into some serious core work, is some lunges, and then we're gonna rest. So your lunges, we're just gonna do alternating forward lunges for 20 seconds. Then we're gonna do a wall sit. When we're doing that wall sit, I want you to slide down as low as you can into a squat position, and you're just gonna hang out here for 10 seconds. Then we're gonna let it go, and then we're gonna do a little fake skip. If you have an actual skipping rope, you can more, more than welcome to use it, okay? So we're gonna start with lunges for 20 seconds. Ready, set, and go. So lunging it forward, watch your knees, digging in with the heel, right? And push, good job. Pressing into it, pressing into it. Five more seconds, bend your back leg and time. We're going to hang out it on the wall. We're going to slide your bum down. We're going to hang it here for 30 seconds in four, three, two, slide it down and hold. Shoulders down and back. Engaging the core. If you feel this in your knees, make sure that you're digging in with your heels. Yeah? Okay. 10 more seconds. Keep going. You're at that 90 degree angle, right? Keep going. Five, four, three, two and off the wall you go we're gonna go into some serious skipping grab your skipping rope if you have it in four three two and go right so we can keep this total low impact or we can pick it up a notch and get those knees right up for 20 seconds just remember it's only 20 seconds right so no big deal four three Two, and time. Good, shake it out. Back to your lunges, second round. In five, four, three, two, and go. Again, if you have resistance, some water bottles, a big water jug, some dumbbells, could you use that here? Yes, of course you can, right? So you can make this harder with resistance, but you can also make this harder 
by adding a couple extra sets. Right? And time. Good. Wall sit. Feet forward. We're going to sit down into it in four, three, two, and time. Right? So again, sitting into those heels. Whoo! Come on. Make those quads burn. Digging in with the heels, not your toes. You should be able to wiggle your toes in your shoes. Keep going. Keep going. Shoulders down and back. Don't come forward. In four, three, two, and up we go. Back to skipping it out. I like to sort of start lightly, right? So I'm going to keep moving in four, three, two, let's skip it. Come on. Grab your rope or no rope. So I like to introduce you to these workouts with a lot of times with no resistance because then you can do them anywhere. And for some of you who don't have a lot of resistance, then this is a great alternative to kind of go, oh, I can totally do workouts at home, right? Four, three, two, and time. Third set, into the lunges to start. And five, four, three, two, let's go. Come on. Good job. Four more seconds. Good job. And time. Good. Back onto the wall. How are your legs doing? You're getting a little bit more tiring, right? In four, three, two, sink it down. Let's hold. Oh, yes. Come on. Third set, right? We should feel this. Come a little lower if you can, right? So 90 is one way. If you go a little lower with good knees and really push it hard here, come on. And five, four, three, two, and time. Whoo. Yes. All right. Light little skip. We're going to pick it up in four, three, two, Let's go. Right? So all levels welcome. Right? So remember, you can do it like this. Right? It doesn't have to be all crazy vigorous. It doesn't have to be with a lot of tools. Keep going. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Good. Back to the lunges. This is your last set. And then we're going to hit the ground. All right. In five, four, three, Two, let's go. Lunging it down. Grab weights if you have them. Pushing into the heels. Glutes and quads are working. Keep your chest lifted, shoulders down and back. Watch your posture and press. Five more seconds. And time, good. Back to the wall. It's your last round. Make it a gooder, right? All right, digging in with the heels. Shoulders down and back. Ah, and go. Ah, I tell you. Come on, right into those quads, right into those glutes. Keep going. We got 10 more seconds. Don't give up on me now. Keep pushing through this. In five. It's amazing what we can do mentally, right? So just distract yourself a little bit. And time. Good. Skipping it out lightly. And then we're going to pick it up. Keep going, keep going, ready, pick it up and go. Are you ready for some core? Yes, you are, bet you are. Whew. 10 more seconds. Come on, we're halfway there, more than halfway there. And time, good. Let's grab some water. We're gonna move down to the mat. Right, so you've done your 20 minutes of cardio Tabata. And now we're gonna take it down for your last bit of core work. All right, once again, we don't need any equipment other than your mat or maybe a towel, right? Or maybe your carpet, and you'll be fine there. We're gonna start with having your hands above your shoulders, right? You wanna keep your pelvic tucked in. We shouldn't have a big arch in that lower back. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna curl it up reaching for the sky and then coming back down, right? So there's no support on your head. So if you feel this too uncomfortable on the neck, then definitely put your hands here. Maybe start with just one hand, right? And then maybe on your next set, 
you can switch it to the other hand. Just remember which hand you got, okay? So hands just in front of your chest. We're gonna start with regular crunches. Ready, set, and go. Reach for the sky. So when I'm reaching for it, I want my chin slightly tucked in. I don't wanna have my neck in that um, harsh position, right? So I really wanna focus on my neck not doing all that work. And as I said, if it does bother you, take one hand and take it behind your head for this set. And then on your next set, we're gonna switch hands. Okay, exhale, lift. Exhale, lift, good work. Exhale, lift, you got this. Exhale, lift, nice work. Come on, keep it going. Keep it going, good work. Almost there, four, three, two, and time. Good, we're gonna still work on that neck strength, but again, if it gets too uncomfortable, we are going to support your head. Um, so you can have our hands wedged underneath your bum, legs go straight up, keep your head and chin lifted, uh, tucked in, and your shoulders lifted. We're gonna lower it down and lifting it up. If that's too hard, keep your hands behind your head to give yourself that support to the head, okay? So you decide. Ready, set, and go. Lowering it down as low as you feel comfortable and lifting it up or keeping your hands down, taking it down, lifting it up. That bothers your lower back, bending your knees a little bit more and just going down and up from here. You can also not just 90, you can be kind of in the middle of the two, right? I find it... Um, a little bit more comfortable having my hands behind my ears, lifting my head so I have a little bit more support to the neck, and I just support my lower back by bending my knees a little bit more, right? So all sorts of different levels when it comes to core stuff. So you just have to really find what works for you. Keep going. Good, keep it going. Keeping my shoulders lifted because what they wanna do, they wanna lower down. One more, good job. We're gonna keep our hands supported behind our head if that's where you were. If you were behind your hips, then you're gonna go there. We're gonna lift it up, point your toes, press your feet together. We're gonna to do nice big corkscrew circles with those legs, ready and go. Circle them around, circle them around. Come on, circle them around, you're doing awesome. Keep going. Ooh. Again, having your hands here supports that back a little bit more. Right? If it gets too hard on the, on the neck, you can also take your head down. Right? So, so many different choices. Let's go the other direction. Ready? Well, let's go. Opposite way. Ooh. Ooh. Right? So, I always try one way, try another way. The key is, are you feeling your core? If you're feeling your core, perfect. That's what we want. And again, legs nice and straight, or make it easier by bending those legs a little bit. Keep going. Come on. Five four, three, two, and time. We're gonna take it over onto your front. We're gonna have our hands right underneath your shoulders. We're gonna do a downward dog hover. So we're gonna, a oh, plank, sorry. So we're gonna be right here, ready? Downward dog, lift, and back to your plank. Downward dog, lift, back to the plank. When you come up into that downward dog, head going through, pressing the heels down, back to the plank. And again. Still working a little bit on the upper body as well. Awesome. And again. Good work. Exhale out, pressing it up. You got this. And again. How important is the core? Why do we want it to be strong? You know? Right? Your core is your foundation. It's like building a house with no foundation. Wouldn't stand very strong. And time, good work. We're gonna take it down to your elbow plank and we're gonna lift your legs, alternating right, left. So we're gonna step it right back and we're just gonna lift it up in four, three, two, and go. Lift, lift, lift. If you wanna make it a little easier, drop to the knees and we can still lift from here, okay? Good, and again, and again, right? So you decide what level we're in. How are we feeling? 20 more seconds. Good, 
right? And if it gets too hard, you can also drop to the knees and just hang out here for a bit, right? So until you're ready to come back. So it's completely up to you, but definitely the key is to push you. And time. We're gonna take it over onto your back. We're gonna do bicycles. Hands going behind back, you behind your head, holding and supporting. We're gonna go bicycle crunches, taking it across. Ready, set, and go. Low impact, you're right here, yeah? Good. Awesome. If you are choosing to do at this level, I really want you to think about pressing the bottoms of your feet towards the wall in front of you, right? It's a bit more of a pressing it back, pressing it back. Come on, push into it, yeah? Power through it. Ah, 10 more seconds, come on. Whoo, and press, and press, and press, and press, and time. Good work. That was round one. Here comes round two. Arms above your head, pelvic tucked in. We know these now, right? In five, four, three, two, let's reach it. Up and down we go. Notice it's not very big, right? But that's the whole point. My pelvic is tucked in, lower abdominals are contracted. My upper abdominals are doing the work here. And lift, chin tucked in. If you need to switch hands to support your head, this is where you're gonna do it, right? Helping your head out a little bit, but don't yank on your head. And pull, good, belly button stays in. Good, exhale out, lifting it, lifting it. The thing is when we're doing any sort of Pilates type things, the neck is the first thing that we sort of gives up. And that's why these kind of exercises become very powerful to strengthen those extensors in your neck as well. Okay, four, three, two, and time. Whew. Legs up, reverse crunches in that crunch position with your hands tucked underneath your hips or behind your head, right? Bending your legs or straightening your legs, ready? Set and go. Down and lift. Down and lift. Down and lift. Come on, make it work. Good job. You can keep them straight if you want. Whoo. 15 seconds. Oh. Keep your chin tucked. Keep your shoulders lifted so upper abdominals are doing work. Straight legs, right? So again, depending on your strength of your back and time. Good, we're gonna hold it right here. Legs stay up, how are those core muscles? They're burning, right? If you need a little break, I give it a little breather on the lower back, ready? Legs up, corkscrew, okay? Point your toes and go. One direction. Let's do this. The bigger and the lower we go, the harder this is gonna be. Oh, yes, come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going, come on. Are you ready? Out of direction, let's go. All right, if you can hold it here, you can also take your hands underneath that lower back or Bend your knees, making it a little bit easier. Still, you're gonna feel it just as hard. You can maybe go a little bigger, see how I can actually make it bigger, right? With this, I need to really focus on our lower back being safe. Five, four, three, two, and time. Good work. Planking it down, downward dog into your plank, okay? Whew. Hands underneath your shoulders. Give me that plank position. Ready? Downward dog. Lift the hips. And down we go. Lift the hips. And down we go. Lift the hips. And down we go. Very nice. And again. And down. And again. And down. And again. And down, we got this, 20 more seconds, come on. Create that nice little V when we come up. Ooh. Ooh. 
Whew. Oh, good work. Almost there in five, four, three, two, and time. Back down plank position, lifting your legs, alternating right to left, or just stay in your plank on your knees, lifting the leg, or simply staying in your plank. Yeah? In four, three, two, and go. So notice my hips don't come up any higher, right? Like I'm not here. So when I lift my leg, it's my glutes kicking in to lift that leg up. It's not lifting the hips, okay? Low impact, take it down on your knees. Make sure your knees are cushioned though, right? And push, lift, 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 or hold it if you need to. 15 seconds. We got this. Five, four, three, two, and time. Back over, bicycle crunches. Hands behind the ears. Lifting your head and shoulders, yeah? Ah, breathe in four, three, two, and go. So when I do the bicycle crunches in that level one, I get my elbows trying to go the, beside the outside of that knee, not the inside. Because if I go beside the outside trying to lift it there, I'm actually doing more of a lift and I'm working a hell of a lot harder, right? And a little level higher, take it right to here, bending those knees. You want to make it a little higher level, scissor it with the bicycle, okay? So you choose your level that fits your body, okay? And lift, and lift. Again, what can I say? No excuses. We can do this anywhere. And time, good. Round three, then you're done, I promise. All right, hands up, crunching it. It's your last round. You can do this, pelvic tucked in, right? Ready, set, and go. Ooh. Support your head if you need to. Keep that chin tucked in, lifting from the upper abdominals, right? Having that chin tucked in gives that neck a nice little, uh, a nice little helper, right? Good job. Keep going. Exhale, lift. Give me 20 more seconds. We got this. Ten more seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Good. Reverse crunches. Hanging on to the head. Legs go straight up to the ceiling. Press your lower back down into the floor. Lowering those legs up and down. In four, three, two, and go. And lift. Okay. Straight leg. Semi bend, right? So you can be more here, right? Or more bent. Down and up. If you need help, take your hands, wedge them under. <sighs> Keep your shoulders lifted though, right? Until your neck gets too tired. And then you can also take your head down. So many different choices. <sighs> Good. Excellent. Sometimes when you have an easier level, it's actually not easier. It's just considered in our fitness world to be easier. But the truth is, Sometimes I find easier, harder, because I can actually focus and control that movement better than trying to make it too advanced and then not really feeling what I'm supposed to feel. And release, good. Legs go straight up, hands stay behind your ears, pointing your toes this time, corkscrewing it out, lifting from the shoulders in four, three, two, let's go. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. Right, so you decide. Again, if the head is okay and your neck is strong enough, but your back is weaker, you can again, wedge your hands underneath. You can also take your head down. And again, to tell you the truth, this is just as hard, even with my head down, but I'm not really focusing on strength in those muscles, but I can actually have a little bit more range. Ready? Other way, let's go. Out and about, let's go, rotate it through. I think I'm sliding away from my mat. And again. 
Come on, a little bit easier by bending your knees, right? Come on, circle it out, circle it out, circle it out. Four, three, two, and time. Rotate it. Downward dog plank. Whew. Hands stand underneath your shoulders. And four, three, two, and go. Downward dog and plank. Downward dog and plank. Downward dog and plank. Good job. Downward dog and plank. And again, exhale and inhale. Head going right through those arms. Focus on that core strength. Good job, you got 20 more seconds. Doing awesome. Oh yes. Four, three, two, and time. Come on, last two. Still with me, right? Elbow plank, lifting those legs up and down. Come on, last two, we still got this. In five, four, three, two, and go. And talk through this one. Sorry, 15 seconds. <laughs> well, I can talk through it. Keep going. Um, I just stop. <laughs> it's your workout. It's not mine. Keep going. In four, three, two, and time. Flip it over. Bicycle crunches, yeah? <sighs> okay. Whew. All right, hands behind the ears. Low level. Level one, level two, level three, ready, go. I don't even like putting levels on them because the truth is it's more which exercise fits your needs. Which exercise challenges you the most? Which exercise is suited for your body's limitations, injuries, right? So think about that, so important. Keep your hands behind your ears, lifting it up. Excellent press. So many people out there that have limitations and injuries and thinking, I can't do any of this, but you can. You just need to find a way of altering the exercise and making it yours, so long it's safe, right? So get some help, really important, and time. Good, let's hold it right here, arms laterally out to the side, and we're just gonna drop the knees, stretching through that lower back and hip area. You did it, just like that, piece of cake. Right? Nothing to it. Let's take it over the other side. And again, my recommendations after these classes is to take more time to stretch. Um, if you wanted to make this class a little bit harder, maybe add some cardio into it um, on the end. Maybe, um, you know, add a fourth set of core work. Like if you kind of go, you know what, I could totally do another set. Go for it. Right? So what are you working on? Are you working on your cardio? Are you working your strength? Is it core strength? Like what is it you're working on? And then maybe add a little bit more of that into your routines. Um, but sometimes more is not better, right? So if you have an injury or limitation and you're trying to think, well, the more I do, the faster I'm going to heal, um, there is balance. Balance is important, okay? We're going to come all the way up. We're going to cross one leg over the other, hugging that knee in. Rotate. Let's look over the shoulder, stretching out through the hip. Awesome work. Breathing into it. You're doing so awesome. And release. Let's switch it to the other side. Crossing that leg over, hugging the knee in, and looking behind you. Holding it right here. Breathing into it. Good work. Let's stand up nice and slow. We're going to take one leg up. Stretching those quads out that we worked earlier, right? 
We're going to keep your knees together, pulling the knees slightly back, opening up the hips so we're getting the shoulder in there at the same time. Probably forgot all about what we did earlier, right? We did push-ups, we did squats, we did lunges. And then once we do the core, it's like, what do we do again? All right, so remember that we did all those things and then stretch it the other side. <sighs> Pushing that knee back, opening up your shoulder. And breathe. Don't forget to breathe here. <sighs> Good work. Awesome. We're going to hold it right here. Give yourself a nice little, so this hand stays down. Slide it down your leg and reaching it up and over. Taking it down, reaching it up and over. Opening it up to the side. Good job. And releasing it back down. We're going to roll the shoulders out. Nice big circles. Again, find some more time to stretch if you can. Give yourself a nice deep breath, reaching it tall. And exhale out. One more time. Inhale, reaching it all. Let's hold on to those hands. Come up on your tippy toes. Give yourself a nice long, long stretch. And releasing it all the way down. You did it. Good work. So Tabata, cardio style, plus your core work, done for the day. Go outside now. Go for a hike. Go for a walk. Do something fun. Yeah? Nice weather out, go for a swim, go for a bike ride, right? So be active, be safe, and hydrate, and make sure we get some good fuel in today, all right? Thanks for joining me. My name is Sonia Badezi from Success Fitness. Thanks to the Royal Roads for sponsoring this class, and I will see you in the next couple of days.